Okay, so today I'm going to do two versions of this eye. Um, one of them is a MAC eye and one of them is an everything else eye. Can you tell which one? I don't think you can. So uh, that just goes to show that you don't need MAC. But um, anyway, hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you're having a good day. Bye. Hey, so the first thing I did was put Indian wood paint pot on this eye. Put my Dior eye show in undressed beige on this eye. And um, I'm going to pat. The next color I'm going to take is my Makeup Forever Star Powder. It kind of exploded. And there is a reference number. They don't have names for these, but there is a reference number. And I'll post that on my blog if you guys are interested in it. And I'm going to pat this color all over my lid. So these are going to be your alternate products and these are going to be your MAC products for those of you who don't like MAC and for those of you who do. So I'm going to pop this all over my lid and I'm just doing it with a 252 and then you can just take um, a soft shader brush and just blend out any harsh edges that you have. This color is very sparkly um, so just know that before you go in that it has a lot of shine to it. Um, even the Indian wood paint pot isn't as shiny you can see as I'm going. Um, so there you go. Then on this eye over here, I am going to put my Napoleon Purtis Loose Dust um, in number 37. And I'm going to do that one with a 224. And that's just going to bring a little bit of glitzy, um, that same kind of shimmer, but in a more dumbed down version. So my eyes are going to look different, just a heads up. Um, but they're both going to be a summer bronze golden goddess look. So then with a little bit more of a dry brush, I just take a towel and kind of wipe my brush off, kind of blend that color out a little bit. Now for both of these eyes, I want um, a soft smoke. And um, you can achieve that if you have the 88 palette, this guy here. Um, you can go in with this one, which is, this one is the black, so it's this one here. And I'm just going to, it's a more green brown, and I'm doing that for a reason. Um, I guess I don't need to hold that up anymore. And I'm just going to smoke this out and up into the crease and it is definitely a softer color um, you don't necessarily want it really really dark you just want to define the area you could also use um, the 224 the new one or you could use like a soft shadery brush like this I'm going to use the soft shader brush for the uh, bottom corner just to really get um, a nice soft fade. Now the reason I'm using a brown like this is just to kind of bring it back to a sultry smoke rather than oh my gosh she's got gold all over her eye. I said gosh not god. Um, so just kind of playing with those colors really going in there and smoking them out. Now you can use the same color um, for this eye or you could go in with um, a color like Mineral from MAC or um, Espresso or something like that just to really give you a great smoke. So the look that I'm trying to achieve with this is really really soft and smoked out um, but still like a golden goddess. So if you need to go back in with a little bit more of that darker brown and kind of darken things up, that's totally cool. You can go as dark as you want. 
um, and then just kind of blend it in. I went all the way in. You don't have to if you don't want to. And then on the inner corners, I used its Bare Essentials in Golden Ruby. Um, you could also use that Napoleon Purtis number 37. You could use Vanilla Pigment. You could use Vanilla Eyeshadow. I really don't care what you use, but I just thought there are some options for you. Um, for liner, I'm going to use um, Urban Decay's 24-7 liner in Bourbon. And um, for liner, I just... Uh, I'm going to make this really, really soft. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of draw a pretty precise line on the top and the bottom. Just like that. And then I'm going to draw a little circle on my hand with my liner. Just like that. And you can take your little pencil brush, make sure it's clean and then get some of that product on the brush and then just kind of softly smoke out your liner and I don't even really want to see the liner I don't really want to see the smoke of the liner either but I don't want I just want it to be completely blended out and really really soft and just a little bit of definition see Okay, so on my face, I'm going to use my Dior Bronze um, Foundation. You can use this with tons of different brushes. You could use this with your 187. You could contour a little bit with, um, this is the 169. You could actually use the 138, I believe it is. And you could use your 109 for this. You could use a brush like this that's totally flat on the top. This one is from Holly North. Um, you could do whatever you want. I am going to try my 138 for this because I haven't tried this for this purpose yet. Um, shake the can really good. Spray it onto your brush. And then I kind of tap it off a little bit. And then I'm going to bronze my face. Now I really like this stuff because it is fairly matte, so it's a little bit more lifelike. You can spray this absolutely directly onto your face. I like to spray it onto a brush just because I have a little bit more control over where it goes that way. Um, it's up to you though, so you do whatever you want to do. Just tapping it on. and buffing it in and it gives your face just a really nice bronze. I don't find it too bronze, I don't find it um, really shiny, I don't find it, uh, I don't know, I just really really like it. And you can totally play up the coverage um, and the intensity of the color that you want and then you kind of get the bronze that you want. And remember that it's not um, meant to be a blush, so you don't want to see it on your face. You just want your skin to look glowy. Then you can go in and take a blush. I'm going to use mine from my Smashbox Duo in Cosmopolitan. And then put, lay down some color on the cheek and this is what's going to give you you know the color. I use this brush for everything now um, I'll do a full review on it later but I love it so this is my version of a sun-kissed um, goddess so uh, I'm going to be a little bronzer in that little hollow of my cheeks. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you got something out of it. You can vary the intensity. You can do whatever you want. These are just some ideas that I had. And um, gosh, have a good day, guys.